Hello everybody, this is Nova giving you a quick little guide on religious unity. As you can see here, if you go into the uh, tabs and you go to religion, you'll get this small little religious unity saying, Hey, there is a good amount of your territories that is not the right religion, which is Sunni for us. This just means that uh, of your total base tax, 53% uh, uh, of that is uh, of the right correct religion. That even means if there were any Shiats, it will still count against this. Uh, and if you are Catholic you, or Protestant for that matter, they would still count against it. It is only your state religion that's counting on the good side of religious unity. But why do I even care what religion they are? Well, if they're herit uh, heretical, uh, as the Shiites are, you get a little bit of penalty. I don't have any here in the, um, this territory, but I do have heathens. And heathens, they give a huge penalty. You'll still get the local revolt risk if it's uh, heretics, so if it's a Shiite here, I would still get local revolt risk uh, modifiers and so on. But for heathens, meaning that if I have a Christian territory as a Muslim, or as a Muslim I have a Hindu or any other religious uh, group, a main uh, group, I will have this penalty as well of reduced goods, which is huge amounts here, if you see how much cash that actually comes into it. And that is a lot of money penalties. And besides that, local tax modifier. So this is for the taxes. And if we go in here, we'll get some penalties as well, uh, counting on the productions. Here, goods, minus. So that's a negative there as well. So for the heathens, this just means you need to check it out. So you can use the religious unity to check out if all your territories, especially when you're growing big and you've taken over half the world, you need to remember to take care of your religious unity. That being said, you can here as the Ottomans have, they have this little uh, idea, so they can actually increase their religious unity a fair amount, which is hugely good for the Ottomans, but that's just part of the Ottoman way. Besides that, there is one extremely big penalty and that is on the stability modifier here. As you can see, religious unity plus 46.3. So that means what you have here, the rest is added into stability cost modifier. So a 43%, that is actually another 46 manpower, uh, mana, not mana, administrative uh, power that you need to pay just to boost your stability once. That is huge so that's why you need to just keep a look out on your religious unity when uh, you're playing at a uh, as a country that's bordering other religions and if you're playing in europe here you need to watch out for the protestantism and so on later on and reformed but i hope this was helpful for you on religious unity bye Thank you for watching. If you like the guide, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more guides for both Europa Universalis and Crusader Kings, then click on the logos here on the annotation or check out the description down below. See you guys later. Bye.